Hey everybody, back with a new Patreon request. This is from Paul. He's requesting the sixth episode of Timeless. Last episode, we went to the Alamo and, you know, Lucy wrote that letter and allowed the Texas Revolution to go on. Um, and her mom gave her the name of her dad. So I wonder if we're gonna, you know, get some actual real world stuff. Or are we gonna hop back into... The, I'm torn like I, I want to know more about what they're actually affecting in the actual world But also every time like they go on their little trips. They're fun. So I can't complain uh, This episode is called the Watergate tape, which will be fun I wonder what kind of role they're gonna play in that but uh, let's get into it Emma, oh. was the last night? Second place Oh God, what do you gotta do now? Place. We thought you could use a ride this guy Whatever this is, I don't want any part of it. How'd your brother take the loss? I could have sworn that last shot was going to go Absolutely in just not. The theatrics. Place the door. He had to resign. I know that part. Yes, well, he might have got away with it, but he was secretly recording every conversation he had in the Oval Office. You know something about secretly recording people? Stop making him do this. Nice family. He's going to do it. Now back off. More positive ones going after the Nixon tapes? No, but it's a good place to start. June 20th, 1972 is a special day. It's the day that Nixon records the missing 18 and a half minutes. I would give anything to hear that tape. Oh, a couple of Nixon's baby killers. Who the hell did you call me? <laughs> and, uh-uh. You stayed here the night Abraham Lincoln was shot. Uh-uh. Two weeks for us. A century for them. Remarkable. Oh God, you're gonna talk us to death, aren't you? I had a hunch I'd find I want to hear him. To the White House, Lucy. I need you to do something for me. We're not getting the Nixon tape for you. Not necessary. I already got it myself. Oh my. Can't discuss Rittenhouse in here. We need to get the doc back. We need to get Rittenhouse the doc back. Rittenhouse goes now. back to and Nixon. I'm done. I'll see to that. Do you understand who they are? How deep I'm in with Rittenhouse? She and I are going to be quite the team one day. It's not real. It's a fake. Lucy, we've talked about I this. I can see that happening. It. It's your own handwriting. Truly. Really? I said it looked like my handwriting. Not that I ever wrote it or ever will. Screw Flynn, do not give him what he wants. Five hours don't hurt him. Lucy. Uh, Lucy, don't uh, listen to me. <laughs> don't. Lucy. Bye, Lucy. This is very bad. How could you not tell me a lie about the journal? I felt deep throat. Secret informant. Follow the money, deep throat. I know the porn one. <laughs> He was associate director of the FBI. Deep Throat was his cover name. Destroy the doc. How? I'm not. I don't. I don't have it. Deep Throat, here we come. <laughs> yeah, out of context. Now, the burglars were looking for a specific document at the Water Gate. I don't know anything about that. Well, we'll spell your name right on the front page. Wait, 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 wait. Did they find anything? Only a crumpled piece of paper in the trash. Was anything written on it? Nothing written. Just had a weird symbol of a fist with what looked like horns. Did it look like this? Yes. How do you know? I don't... Make sure you keep talking to Woodward, and we'll find out. Yeah, ensure that shit hard. happens. You're fighting on the wrong side. I think maybe. I just wish we could understand that. Well, maybe. Make me understand. Written house. That's right. Written house bankrolls Connor Mason. So I flagged these transfers to my NSA contact, and uh, he said he'd take care of it, but he didn't. Well, so Flynn was just a whistleblower. We call them silencers, but they're not that silent. Uh uh. Not at night. Not when it's two shots murdering your family. You didn't fight back. How do you fight back against that? There were too many of them. And I found myself on the run. But it was Yeah, y'all are on the wrong side. Written house. Just because I ask a single question. Why don't you just go back and save your family? Like how you want to save your wife? You know the rules as well as I do. Can't go back to any time I already exist. And since I don't know who put the head out to begin with. One day I'll come back and my girls will be there again. The 
does it work like that? I read everything about these guys. Kind of went through a militant phase back in college. Really? Yeah. As in I had a militant crush on a militant girl. Okay. <laughs> this document is all linked to the BLA. Gregory Hayes should know about it. You should probably wait outside. You should be fine. Just um, don't make any eye contact. Yeah, now you know what it feels like, Lucy. Can you get a Miller light? What do you mean, light? <laughs> yeah. Not a minute. Mr. Yet. Miller, then. No, I need to talk to Gregory about the water game and the dog. the right thing. Oh, y'all ever hear a name like Kanye? Sounds made up. He did not say Kanye. No way. Talks like a fad, walks like a fell. Get him out. No, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't know, Cleaver. Okay, you guys used to work together back in the Oakland days, right? Okay, Kanye. Let's go. <laughs> I cannot take that seriously. Lucy didn't write out everything. And what is written does sometimes sound crazy. Like a different Lucy. Yeah, Lucy's the one that sounds crazy. Why is that? Why you would they be what different? You wrote about you? About your wife? Shut the hell up. It took you, what, only 20 minutes until you cooled down, came back for her? By then she was gone. When they found her, strangled in the bushes, never even caught who did it. Oh Shut the hell up! Oh my god. Listen to this. Wyatt's obsessed with his wife's death. Means to let go, move on. Lucy's words, not mine. She don't look like he damn for the cause, my brother. But it's just my piece on the side. Uh. <laughs> Why'd you pick up the white partridge? Good one. Excuse me. That's a person. I see that. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I mean, Nixon never said document on the tapes. He said doc. So what? We're just supposed to turn her over to oh. if we don't buy it's dead. Why do they call you Doc? I uh, got a PhD in history, University of Chicago. <laughs> That's crazy. I worked in that department for a year under old man McNeil. Old man? Professor McNeil is 38. Right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's just a nickname. Why are they after you? Because I left. Left Rittenhouse. How? You're telling me you're a member? How did they not? I was born into it. The dog is a woman. Destroy the dog. Uh, excuse you. Did you hear me? I said the doc is a person. You can't the be surprised. Where is this? Yes, Rufus. Maybe I can tell them the recording device shorted out. Oh, your family. That it was destroyed. Maybe they'll believe that. Wait, they who? We just have to trust each other. Okay. come back from this you both had secrets it's all on the open come on the written house and the america are so intertwined sometimes it's hard to tell one from the other yeah that sounds They're likely cancer. there's no other choice to save the body you have to attack the body i guess you really are a creepy sociopath it's a philosophy why is this old girl though? Who sees that in the very black and white? You have an hour left. Oh, you decided to call Rittenhouse and this man and tell him where I was? Exactly. So we both got a house and we turn on each other. Which saves us some time, but not much. To do what? Save our friend. Come on, let's hurry. Come on, come on. Oh, Lucy. <laughs> Yeah, he's coming back soon. There's a nail in the trash. Okay, can get it. Okay, I got it. You know, you asked me why I was running from, you know. This is why. Is that your family? It's always why. No, okay. Go after your family. Made it to Hong Kong. Now what? We just gotta build back some trust, guys. We can do it. We escaped, but we got separated. We lost Doc. We tried to find her in a chaos, but no go. Um, really sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Nice Bye. story. What did you find out about them? You gotta tell me. You gotta figure out what the hell's going on here. You got it? Like a double agent. You and me both lied to me. They lied to each other, too. I don't trust either of you. Guys. 
Okay, new pack starting now. Everyone is truthful. Are you sure you were being forthcoming? There was a quiver in your voice. You heard my final report? Yeah. Who do you think was on the other end of that phone? Really? That sucks. God. Because a vision softly creeping. Just rip the band-aid off. Come on. Is there a Benjamin Cahill here? Dad, some ladies here for you. <gasps> Guess who just showed up at my house? Unbelievable. Okay, so that was my favorite episode of the show so far. That was really good. Not what you would expect when you think you're going back to like the Watergate times. You I thought the focus would be more on the actual administration, but it was what we found out about that, that Rittenhouse has been ingrained into the American political system for a while, it seems. That's fascinating. And Flynn's backstory and how he's like, uh, America has a cancer. This this entity has been involved for so long, you got to root it out by any means necessary. And that really bumps up against Wyatt's line of thinking. We're like, no, you can't go up against America. But like, this really reminded me of uh, Winter Soldier, like the political thrillerness of it all, where Hydra had infiltrated Shield, this thing that you you know you have an ideal of of being one thing and it's actually this other thing that's a that's a lot for Wyatt to realize he's a little bit like Captain America in that way I hope I hope he'll get to where Steve got where it's like no nah, man no I don't care if it's this amazing institution if it's doing wrong then you know go after it and and that's what Flynn is doing. Uh, so I am team Flynn, you know? And I like that they, you know, brought in like the uh, faction of the Black Panther Party and that was their end. Like Rufus had an end there. They learned a lot of stuff. And just having the Black Panther Party in the story, cause you know, that organization, they had like militant parts of it. And those are just like warring philosophies where it's hard to know, you know, is it more moral to be radical when you're up against this evil force in Rittenhouse or, you know, the Black Panther Party, which was white supremacy. Like, like that's kind of like a, a Martin Luther King, uh, Malcolm X debate and like, those are big ideas and they're tying that all into everything they've been dealing with so far in the show. I really like that. That was amazing. And then to have the reveal of her dad being uh, the guy, the head guy, that's wild. I'm glad that Rufus came clean and, and, and they know about Flynn and Lucy having talks, so... They're all upset with each other, but at least it's all out in the open now so we can rebuild, hopefully, and go up against Rittenhouse full force because they're the baddies here. Uh, Flynn has amazing points, you know. I, I, I'll be curious to see what he's willing to do, the lengths he's willing to go to, if there's ever any time that you have to be like, okay, you've gone too far. But I am Team Flynn right now. Um, and it'll be really interesting to see how they continue going forward. Uh, I, man, this is, this is a really good episode. I enjoyed it a lot and I'm excited for where the show is going in that regard. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so thank you for this request, Paul. Um, and I'll see you guys later.